How is everyone doing? A Shamble 87 here with another let's play for you, another Disney game for my Disney month. And this time I will be playing The Jungle Book. I've never seen this movie, let me get that out of the way now. So if I mispronounce anything, I apologize. I plan on seeing the movie in the future though. Okay, here's the jungle book. You have um give you the play on normal hard practice, which is easy. I'll be playing on normal. And I'm just gonna show you um what to do in the game. I've checked in every level is to collect gems. On um, practice mode, you have to collect 8 out of 15. On normal mode, you have to collect 10 out of 15. On difficulty, you have to collect 12 out of 15. And if you collect all 15 gems in each level, you're able to access a bonus stage. I won't be showing a lot of bonus stages, but I'll probably show off at least one or two. I don't think they're much different, but I don't know. I won't be getting Goblin, no, that won't be the main focus. Mowgli begins his journey to find the man village. This game is kind of like open world, from what I notice. It's like one big level and you have to go and find the gems, and you also have enemies to kill, and... And, um... Weapon ammo to find... Physic stuff. Music is great too, I like the graphics in this game. You also have different weapons, as I mentioned, this is the double bananas. Those two at a time. You also have a slingshot, not a slingshot, you also have a, um... You have a, um... Spitball that you, you spit out berries. I think I think it's I guess it's berries. And you also have um kill that snake. You also have invincibility. Yeah, you collect invincibility in this game. You get the store of invincibility. That's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> It's like, fuck you, Sonic and Mario, I can grab bits above any time I want to. <laughs> but I don't think it kills people, though, so that's one downer, but hey. See, that's the invincibility. Here's a boomerang. Here's invincibility. I won't be showing it off completely, though. I don't know if I even use it as help. I probably will. Oh, I'm surprised it died. It's like a bottomless pit there that's been killing me and you have to protest play through. <laughs> then here's the checkpoint system to elephant. We have nothing to find the gear, but I'm actually gonna try and get the all the um ow. I'm gonna try and get all the um, gems in this level. Shelf the bonus stage. This is another game I used to play all the time at my grandparents' house, my grandma's house. My grandparents. Also at my cousin's house. I used to argue so much over this game. This and Sonic and. Not really Mario, because he didn't own the Genesis. I mean, Super Nintendo, not Genesis. <laughs> Stupid me. I'm a noob. I think I don't remember what the last one is. Oh. There we go. Now to finish this level off. Yeah, you collect 10. You're able to um, find Bagheera. I won't pronounce his name right if I'm not, I'm, I apologize. 
That's it for the level, and that's my um, score. Now go to the bonus level. There's a lot of snakes that like to bounce you upwards. Let's see. You just collect fruit, boost your score. You also have um, hourglasses to increase your time. There we go. And now we're in chapter two, the great tree. reaches the great tree where Ka the stink elites. I do remember Ka, that guy's a freaking loony. And I love this music. Ah, fucking wizard. I won't be using any of my special weapons until like I fight a boss. <laughs> That's the only time I use them, because it speeds up the process. And it took me so long as a kid to real to figure this out. We just go up like that. I think I found that out by accident as a kid. <laughs> It lets you know that my Genesis controller is kind of wonky. That's time for a boss. I hope you'll be abusing these, and his boss strategy is to shoot his eye lasers at you. I'm aware that in the movie it, um, they hypnotized you. That's pretty awesome, hypnotize your prey. He's a goner. Yeah, special weapons on bosses is rough. They make them pathetic. <laughs> so my recommendation is just to save them. And now it's time for the Dawn Patrol. Chapter 3. And this level you can actually learn the elephants too. The Dawn Patrol help the man cub through the jungle. Right here, you actually can. Elephant right here, you can actually jump on the elephant's back. You have not to fall off though, because it's a bottomless pit. Which is weird, because if he's walking, how? How's a bottomless pit for me? If he's walking on the freaking bottomless pit, no, I don't. Whatever. There's an elf, another elephant right behind you too, but I mean, if you jump on his back, he'll start spitting crap at you with his trunk. This is a douchebag. Jumping on that vine, I missed badly. 
Well, one good thing about this game is that if you die, you don't have to you don't have to recollect all the gems. So that's always good. You don't have to if you die, you have a you don't have to recollect gems. Careful when you jump on, on scorpions as well, because they could actually sting you. I'll purposely miss that heart because I don't need it right now. But if I need it in the future, I could actually go back and get it. So this helps to always look down. So you'll know what's a bottomless pit or not. You know if yeah, you know if gonna be in a bottomless pit or not. Found them. <laughs> and that's it. Now the river. Ruby wicks his way down the river where he meets Baloo. <laughs> Baloo the bear. The most- ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, so Mogu can't swim. I love the look of this level too. The music is great as well. The, the look is just amazing. I mean, these graphics are great. I mean, just, I mean, in this day and age, you have these high-tech graphics, these Call of Duties, the Halo Fours, which I don't have yet, but I will buy both Call of Duty and Halo. Halo, I'm actually waiting for it for Christmas, but anyways, this came out in 1994 and it still looks great. I mean, granted, yeah, it's only 16-bit, but, only 16-bit sprites, but still, it looks great, you know? I mean, kids growing up now, they don't know this. I mean, some probably do. I mean, we should have had some, like, some brothers or sisters that show them games like this. I mean, the 16-bit days of the glory days, nah. The PlayStation was awesome too, though. Oh, nice. <laughs> PlayStation 1, I remember that era as well. PlayStation 2 era was pretty good. This era, though, it feels like, I don't know. I still love gaming today, and I still love buying games from today. I mean, I own every console, but... I don't know, like, games are like 60 bucks, and you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth sometimes. I mean, just certain games, so not all games. I mean, yeah, people like Capcom, try to DLC, that's already in the, um... It's already in the um on the disc, which is bullshit. I mean, we bought the game, let us get the content. We spent 60 freaking bucks on the game, let's get the content with it. Every everything, you know. It's stupid. Wow. 
Oh yeah, so I have to go down. But I still love gaming today, though. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of games that come out this generation that I love. Oops. You know, his objective here is just to catch the fruit. You can't. I don't know why they're playing the boss music here. And I should also mention that the boss music is awesome. I love the boss music in this game. Don't worry, I'm not dead. <laughs> Yeah, I am looking forward. To, I know Halo 4 is already out, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Hitman Absolution. I'm looking forward to, um... I haven't actually played, um, Borderlands 2 yet. And I want to play it. And there's some stuff coming up next year. It's like Bioshock Infinite. I can't wait for that one. But we're still in the river, and you're actually... Jump on him now. Pretty awesome. I hate those freaking porcupines. Again, one thing I like, you don't have to recollect all those damn gems. Whoa, that was close. Gotta be careful in these levels. Seven great, no, six the great tree. <laughs> and this one, yeah, no, it looks like the car level, but it's not some similarities, though. I like this theme too, even though it's like just basic drums, drums playing, you know. But I like it. Nice rhythm. And you can do this. This level got me lost. I remember playing well, doing my test runs. I got lost playing this level. Another thing you can do is with these huts right here, you can actually teleport. And 
you'll need that. Oh. I never introduced the flying squirrels. I got my compass. Of course, the compass will show you where the gems are. At least I think I don't. I don't even use it. Damn, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes that will happen. <laughs> like you can like spam on a um enemy to get to a higher spot. That's why you fight the boss, but I'm not ready to fight the boss. Now I'm ready to fight the boss. And this is a bizarre boss. Just let me warn you now. Ow. Damn it. Get up there. Ah, oh, damn. Dying to oh well, it's worth a shot. You can only hit him when he um, hit them, I should say, when they're um, Oakley has too. Ah, oh, damn. I'm an idiot. I was gonna get rid of it. Jump too early. Oh, well. I use my boomerang. That's not my boomerang. There we go. Do this. <laughs> and this will do it for part number one, folks. Stay tuned for part number two.